National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hey there, naturopathic Dr. Jonathan Beatty here, health expert at nationalnutrition.ca. I want to tackle a topic uh, specifically for the ladies out there. Uh, we were going to talk a little bit about women's health today. And the reason we I want to discuss this one is because it's a very important topic that often doesn't get dealt with properly in my opinion. Um, really women's health comes down to the subtle differences between men and women in our hormonal balance. That's ultimately what separates the two sexes, but also what creates unique health concerns uh, for women that men don't experience. Um, and so, you know, this is one of those things that I really want to just touch on and make sure that you're getting, you know, proper, appropriate, uh, correct information about this topic. So many women suffer from PMS, many women suffer from menopause, and these two concerns basically have to deal with hormonal imbalances. It's not necessarily having too much of one hormone. It's not necessarily having too little of another hormone. The problem is balance. The human body and the way hormones work is all about balance. If you don't have proper balance of the hormones, that's really gonna interfere with how, that bo how your body's working, how your reproductive organs are working, but ultimately how your whole system works. People often think, of course, that progesterone and estrogen are limited in their activity you know, essentially to the uterus and the ovaries, you know, maybe a little bit to the breasts. But no, in fact, these uh, hormones are growth hormones. Uh, every single cell in your body can respond in one way or another to progesterone and estrogen, which is why when you see these imbalances, you'll see symptoms go through the entire body. You know, changes in the quality of hair, changes in the amount of hair growth, uh, changes in the quality of skin, so you can get, you know, excessive oiliness, excessive dryness. All of these little factors come back and relate to hormonal balance, and that's the real key. It's all about ensuring your body has balance. Now, to ensure that, we need to ensure two things. First, you need to ensure you're getting proper hormone production, and second, you need to ensure you're having proper hormone metabolism and excretion. So those are the two reasons that you can have imbalances in your hormones. And that's one of the things that many people overlook is they just think, oh, you know, I've got, you know, this problem here. So what ends up happening is they get onto what we call uh, synthetic hormones. You know, so doctors will artificially control your hormones. And, you know, although that may create some symptom relief, there are a lot of side effects that go along with that. And sometimes, you know, in lieu of, you know, having to suffer through hot flashes, women may make a decision to, to go on a hormone that can actually increase your risks of breast cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancers. And so it's like you're kind of trading hot flashes for a significant increased risk of you know, a potentially deadly disease. And so that's why I often really like to educate women about this because I wanna try and avoid having to use any types of therapies that have, you know, carry such a severe and significant risk. You know, we're talking about something that's incredibly uncomfortable and, and don't let me, you know, I'm trying not to underscore how uh, life affecting uh, hot flashes can be, but cancer is much more life affecting than hot flashes. And, and so that's where I really want to focus on, you know, trying to create balance in the system. Easy ways to do this. First, of course, we've got to work on production. So actually not having enough cholesterol or enough fats can interfere with your body's ability to properly produce estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, all of your sex hormones. And that's because these compounds are essentially, they're made from cholesterol. They're made from fats in the body. So having adequate levels of the right kind of fats is really important for your body's ability to produce these hormones. Specifically fats like gamma linolenic acid, sometimes called, as we often shorten it to GLA, uh, can be found in evening primrose oil, black currant oil, uh, you know, in hemp. I actually often recommend hemp protein to women who have issues with menopause because of the high levels of gamma linolenic acid in it. So GLA, is, it's a precursor for a couple of hormones and really helps our body to manage and balance its hormone levels. Now, in addition to that, we also want to work on hormone metabolism. This is the easier area to work on. Uh, essentially, hormones are bound to proteins in the liver and then excreted into the bowels. So ensuring normal digestive function is really important because if you're not eliminating appropriately, you're gonna actually be reabsorbing the excreted hormones and your hormone levels are gonna go out of balance. 
Additionally, there are a few things that you can take that can actually increase hormone metabolism. Uh, things like indol 3 carbonyl or uh, DIM, which is diindole methane, which is the more active form of indol 3 carbonyl. Uh, those things can really help your body to metabolize and excrete hormones. Uh, there's some research suggesting calcium deglucurate can also be effective for this. And again, these things just aid your body's ability to eliminate the excessive estrogens. It makes it easier for your body to create that balance. And so that's why they're so important that we uh, look at these things when we talk about women's health. So if you do suffer menopausal or hormone imbalance issues, they're gonna either you know, manifest as PMS, which happens around regular menstruation, or essentially with menopause, when you know, essentially reverse puberty, you're gonna also start to see some of these uh, symptoms show up, and that's because of you know, suddenly created imbalances in hormone levels. So focusing on those uh, few supplements may help you be able to better manage your PMS or your menopause symptoms. Check out more videos, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And always remember, knowledge is health.